Hello lovelies, I'm Angela and this is Parisian Farm Girl. Bienvenue and welcome to my channel. I went thrifting and I am taking you along so definitely stick around because I am going to then install all of my new treasures in the house and I am so excited to show you. Today's video is brought to you by Babbel. Babbel is the language learning app that I use and when you use my link in the video description and you purchase six months use of this app, you are going to get six months free. Did you know that 15 hours spent on Babbel is the equivalent to a college semester class? Why not learn a new language to expand your horizons, improve your relationships, and create new friendships? In fact, you can start speaking a new language in just three weeks. Think about that. Three weeks from now, you could be speaking the language of your choice. Babbel has a beautiful ecosystem of education for you. There are podcasts, there are daily lessons. In fact, the whole thing has been developed by over 150 language teachers. So buy six months and get six months free. In just three weeks, you could be on your way to speaking a new language. Check out the link in this video description. And now let's go do a little thrifting together. Enchanté. I don't really have anything specific in mind today. I really just want to go blow off some steam. There's a few new shops that are just now open for the season, so I miss the shopkeepers. But of course, I'd go in for a new apron, maybe an oil painting. I have some house plants that need some new uh, containers. I guess I just have the plastic and it's rather unsightly, kind of about as unsightly as the speck on my glasses. <laughs> I have this huge speck on my glasses while I'm driving. Oh, that's great. So I'm gonna have to come to the next intersection and wipe my glasses off. There's no stoplights up here, so there's not really a lot of pausing unless you hit tourist traffic in town. So I uh, guess I'm just going to drive with a smudge. All the more reason not to look at the camera, pay attention. Well, that one was kind of a bust. Uh, ooh! I had picked up this little toaster thing. It was cast iron and it looked sort of silly, like you could put a piece of toast over on the top of it with little votive candles underneath uh, or keep, you know, obviously keep a dish warm outside. But I thought it was from the half off section. And so 
when I got to the cash register, it wasn't. And not to be cheap, but as somebody who loves to junk and loves to thrift and loves to antique, you do have to be really careful that you're not just like buying stuff for the sake of buying. I mean, if it's really, really cheap and it's fun, like that piece, I'll buy it. But I didn't really need that piece. It wasn't going to <laughs> improve the quality of my kitchen or anything like that. So I decided to pass on it. I'm going to head up north to one of my favorite stores now that I have not been to since they closed for the season in October. I'm scared to ask, did the, did the ladder sound Not already? Yet. I don't even know <laughs> what I'm putting on it yet. I kind of probably have to wait for Heidi to see it and she won't even be here till next week. Dang. So, yeah, I haven't even, we got a yammer this morning. <laughs> so, I haven't even honestly looked at it yet. Oh my gosh, I know, it's, it's so really, cool. It is cool, yeah. Okay, I'm totally deciding on this tree because we are redoing the greenhouse for a real conservatory feel, and it's gonna have tons of real plants. But I'm thinking this tree is so substantial in size that it might add a lot of drama and just mix in real plants around it. So I'm trying to decide if it's coming home with me. It looks really good. The black pot is plastic. That's really bad, so that would have to go. But I think this would look really incredible against the brick. Super cool. So I'm gonna take a chance. Okay, don't be hating on my fake tree and my ugly duck lamp in the comment box. I promise you, if you stick around the channel long enough, I will find a way to make them work, even if I can't do that today when I get home. But I'm hot and I actually need to go plant my potatoes like a grown up. And so I'm gonna head home and then maybe I can style this stuff in a while. I am living in Door County, of course, and so there's a very huge nautical influence here that I really haven't brought in to the house because it's not a summer home. This is where we live permanently. But I did find this beautiful, beautiful oil painting on wood. And I love the details, the little anchors that are worn away and have fallen off. This is definitely a survivor. This mantle area is totally in process, but I do have my oil painting on linen that I found at Elkhorn and check out the link above if you wanna see that Elkhorn shopping trip. So I think I'm going to pop this in and then I found a gorgeous 
iron stone. I need another iron stone piece, like I need a hole in the head, but I found a gorgeous iron stone soup tureen. And so I'm experimenting with some 4th of July floral arrangements. Now I know the jury is still out on my weird duck light, but I, it was pretty cheap. I'm just gonna live with it. I'm gonna put it right here because I have some cute prints, those ones with the real feathers, some bird prints here. I have a snake skin and a heart-shaped honeycomb that Aiden gave me years ago when he was little. So I think it'll be a fun piece, add a little warm light to this room. And if I don't like it, then I'll just take it right back to the shop and sell it myself. And now you can see why I don't really need any more ironstone, transferware, soup terrains, but what the heck. I'm also a sucker for a good cheese dome, and this one, well, you saw it at the store. This one was so sweet. This little guy is so sweet, so now it's just a matter of finding a home for him. Last but not least, I'm going to put the green lamps in here. I was debating whether to use them in Aiden's room because he has sort of an old president's founding father's theme and these lamps are a little colonial, I think, a little colonial inspired, but I think they'll go good in here in the little boy's room. They don't have a lot of illumination. I've got some light bulbs. They're not my favorite. I do really love the Edison bulbs, but we're out of those right now. So we're gonna put those in here. I think the forest green will work really good. Thank you so much for joining me today. Of course, merci beaucoup. Remember that when you use my link and you purchase six months of Babbel, you are going to get six months free. I want to hear all about your language improvement. I'd also would like to hear if you would like to come along thrifting and antiquing with me more this summer. So leave a comment in the comment box. Check out this video right here. Be sure that you've subscribed. And of course, that you are a member of the Old World Design Society. You can do that right here because the summer magazine is just about to drop. And I will see you again very soon. A bientôt.